Hi guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, for my new subscribers, I see you. Thank you. I appreciate you. And um, for my long-standing subscri subscribers, I always see you and I always appreciate you. I really do. Um, you're probably wondering why I'm why am I making this video so late? Because it is late. It's like late in the morning. It's about 5:48 on the a.m. And the reason that I'm making this video so late, or right, so early in the morning, what have you, is because I can't sleep. You know how it goes. You <laughs> you follow my channel. Um, I made a new playlist, and this playlist is particularly for my oldest son. Now, mind you, he is my firstborn. I have two boys. If you've been following my channel, you know that I have two boys. My military son, there, and little Jacob. Now, when I moved into this apartment, it was just me and Daniel, my oldest son. And he was about five or six years old. Daniel was not a victim to the asbestos. He was a victim to the mold, but not to the asbestos. Um, I was not empowered or educated in terms of mold or, or, or asbestos because where I came from when I moved into New York City Housing Authority in its entirety I was living with my parents and my parents are homeowners they own a two family house with a basement a terrace and a two car garage <laughs> yeah so I'm not trying to say well you bougie so what does that mean it means that I'm not I was never um I never had to deal with that whole mold asbestos thing. I never, I just was never, I never had to deal with it for the simple fact. My father, may he rest in peace, who passed away in 2008, he was a master carpenter. So he never allowed that type of, <coughs> of entity anywhere near his home. The minute he, not even so much as saw it, but smelt it, that was it. <clears throat> he went in. He went in. He went ham. All I would wake up and see is a whole bunch of contractors and whoever else that he's overseeing and mandating <laughs> to fix whatever. So he never allowed any of the family to be exposed to that type of um, danger. Um, nevertheless, <clears throat> excuse me. Yes, yeah, so Daniel was not a victim of asbestos. He was a victim of mold. Yes, he had skin dis you know, skin disorders because of the mold. He had sicknesses because of the mold, but I wasn't educated on the mold or asbestos, so I thought that this was just something, you know, a 24-hour bug or something that he probably contracted from high school or junior high or something to that nature, something that he got from school, something that, you know, I didn't know. When I saw the dust and everything coming in to the apartment by way of the windows during that time that Dan, Jacob wasn't even born yet, I was under the impression that, okay, this is dust and debris, like, what is this? And I asked um, maintenance and the management office, people down at the management office, what is this dust and what is this debris? They told me, oh, that's the building settling. What do you mean that's from the building settling? Yes, that's from the building settling. So when it's really windy and everything outside and the building goes, and you can feel it, the building sway, you could almost feel the building sway, that's from the building settling too? Anyway, my son, oldest son, him and my youngest, and Jacob at one point was sharing my bedroom so it's a long story but I don't want to go that long with you when Jacob was born in 2004 okay when he was born in 2004 he um, he was sleeping in that my bedroom with me I decided to put the two boys in my bedroom you know the two of them sleeping there anyway long story short we went to Daniel's graduation 2010. Everything was fine. You know, we enjoyed ourselves or what have you. It was a good experience for both me and Jacob. When we came back, okay, when we came back around May the 4th, because the graduation started 
April the 29th. That's when we flew out. <coughs> so the graduation went from the 1st going forward. Daniel went to tech school May 3rd. He was walking off to tech school with his military everything. You'll see it in my videos. And, um, and that was on his birthday, May 3rd. When me and Jacob came back to New York, we came back here. June, July, these people came July and started drilling on the roof. Out of nowhere, they appeared drilling on the roof. Now, mind you, New York City Housing Authority, they knew about the conditions of my window since 2006. Since 2005, 2004, 3, 2, 1, they knew about it, and I can prove it because I have photos of the conditions of my windows. I have emails between me and New York City Housing Authority. Yes, I do. <laughs> I absolutely do. I have information between me and the Inspector General's office during that time also. So, <clears throat> in July... While Jacob was laying in his bed sleep, getting ready to get up to go to summer camp, these people came drilling at the window, came drilling um, on the roof. All the rocks and everything came into, into the windows. They came in and they damaged my son. Now let me just show you. Let me, let me, let me show you. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to show you real quickly. I'm not going to... I'm not going to keep you guys. I'm just going to show you real quickly, okay? All right, so I'm going to show you really quickly. So this is in 2007. This is, this is my son Daniel, and this is my bedroom, right? This is when he wasn't feeling well. This is before he went to military. That's the conditions of that big window inside my bedroom. The one that I stand next to showing um, the debris and everything coming in. Okay. This window is what Jacob was sleeping next to. Okay. That's where his bed was. If you can look closely, you can see like his baby things and everything over here. This window was where the rocks and debris was coming in. As you can see this color here, that's the tape that I put up to try to keep the debris and everything from coming in. Again, you can see that's the big window. This is the double the double shades. Okay? This is the condition of the window. New York City Housing Authority knew that this window was in this condition. This is the window that my little boy slept next to where he developed pneumonia in his lungs. Okay? As you can see, okay, this is, I don't know if you saw because of the glare, but um, this is Jacob. Let's see if I can get another clipping of it. There you have it. You see him? You see that? Remember this window. This is Jacob. You see his bed? When he slept in this bed, they came and started drilling on the roof. And the rocks came in through this window. Through this. Through that window. So while he slept, Jacob slept, the debris and everything hit him. It hit him. See his bed? His little thing to keep him from rolling off? Because he was little. He was little. You guys seen how little he was in the videos that I made during my oldest son graduation. Okay? See, that's the window again. Okay? This is when I took him out. We came back from the military. We, this is when I, this is in 2007. This is when I decided, okay, I, I'm taking you, I'm, I'm coming, I'm taking them out of here. Or either, either that or that's when I bring them in here. So it's one of the two. I don't remember. However, that is the window that my son slept next to. As you can see, New York City Housing Authority told me that this was dirt. And it was actually mold. This was mold in the window where my son Jacob slept next to. And where Jake and Daniel slept in that room also. You see his baby things? And there was a junkyard. There was burning trash and burning rubber and burning tires and everything there. So, yes, this is 2007. Okay, see his crib? See Jacob's crib right here? Yes. Mold. 
No, what was this? This was the first scaffolding that they put up. This was one of the first. They put this up in 2006. This, this video, this is taken in 2007. I have a 2006 picture too. You see that? Junkyard. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right, you see that? Okay. Yeah. So, Jacob. My son. When we came back from the military, when we came back from my son's military graduation, 2007, Jacob laid in that bed next to that window, all of that crap. And these people had the audacity to come drill, come do an asbestos on the roof when they knew the windows was like that. They knew the windows was like that. That's why I say my oldest son was not a victim to the asbestos. When they started drilling on, on top of the roof with the asbestos, they disturbed the waters. This building was built in 1910. Google it. 2041 Pacific. It was built in 1910, meaning asbestos was used dur during the construction of this building. It was used. Okay? Asbestos becomes a problem when it is disturbed because when you start drilling at asbestos, you're releasing fibers. And that's what they did. They released fibers. Now they protect themselves but they did not protect the residents. So not only did they do this, not only did they do this asbestos drilling once, as you saw in 2015, they came back and did it again, knowing the conditions of my window. Okay. So during that time, me and Jacob, we hit, we got hit. We got hit. My son. He, he didn't get hit with the fibers, my oldest son. He didn't get hit because he was in tech military, basic training. Then he was in um, tech school, 2015, whatever. And as you can see, there was a big difference between the way I looked when I was in Texas and the way I looked after this old asbestos stuff and so forth and so on. I should have stayed in Texas. We should have just stayed out there. We should have stayed. But then how are we to know? that they was going to come and do this asbestos abatement crap. We didn't know. We were not aware. We were not informed. No one said anything to us. No one pre-warned us about, you know, any asbestos, whatever. Right now, this apartment is cold again. Jacob, it's right here. <coughs> And I'm right here. Why? Because of the windows. Either it's no heat or the heat is lukewarm. Not even warm. It's like lukewarm. And the windows. The jacked up frames that they refuse to replace. That's okay. That's okay. Because let me tell you something. It ain't over till it's over. It ain't over. And when it's all over, trust me, I'm going to be the last one standing. Because my photos don't lie. You, They think they saw photos when we went to court in 2015. You ain't seen nothing. <laughs> you have not seen nothing. Anyway, that's what this basic video is about. It's about um, my new playlist. I said, let me put out a little something to show you guys. You know, I have an older son. He does exist. He knows what's going on. He been knew what was going on. And he graduated from the military. And, you know, I'm not just about, oh, you know. My son is like right here. <laughs> I just wanted to introduce my son to you guys, basically. I just wanted to show you guys that me and my son Jacob, we had a life. We didn't have respiratory problems until you guys decided, until you NYCHA people decided to do this asbestos abatement or whatever. That's when you damaged. Once those fibers got into our system, that was it. You can't get the fibers out. Nevertheless, this is, um, 
Miss Collins. It's about 6.03 on the AM. And um, I just wanted you to share my experience with me, my son, Daniel, my son Jacob. That was my sister, the one with the short hair. The one that said, we don't miss you, like that. <laughs> that was my sister. She's a year older than me. And the other young lady, that was my son's girlfriend, my oldest son's girlfriend. At that time, that was his girlfriend then. And that is what quality of life means. When you saw us out there in Texas, Lackland Air Force Base, having fun at SeaWorld. That's good quality of life. Not this shit. Not this kind of shit. You took away our good quality of life was, was out there. You saw us having a good quality of life. This is not good quality of life, New York City Housing Authority. Not this. You want to see good quality of life? Watch my videos with me and my sons at my son's military graduation in, in, in Texas, Lackland Air Force Base. That's a good quality of life. That's fresh air. <sighs> anyway, guys, this is Miss Collins. Stay empowered. Stay prayerful. Stay motivated. Stay encouraged. Don't be afraid. Okay? I am Rosa Park. <laughs> I am Minnie. Wasn't it Minnie Till? Emmett Till's mother? Yes, I am. She right here. Yes, I am um, <laughs> female Johnny Cochran. Yes. Not... I'm not going to let you guys tackle my son like that. Mm -mm. I'm the kind of parent who will push my son just so I can take the bullet. And if I got to keep pushing him out of the way to take the bullet, I'm going to keep on doing it. I'm going to do it. So again, stay positive, stay focused. But guys, most of all, enjoy your life. Enjoy your life and stay blessed.